Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. A mail call, kind of a different deal. Let me just open it up with this, just straight up badassery. Now, this is a mail call from JR. He sent quite a few knives. We're going to try to go through them. I love these videos. People like these videos. So, JR sent a mail call, brother. Thank you so much. This might be the best boxes I've got. We're going to run through them, talk about them a little bit. This is the Microtech Arbiter. Had to open up with this one. That is just wicked. That is wicked, wicked, wicked. Made in the USA, M390. There will be a hard use review on it. Holy shit, look at that. that that's how you open up a video. Before we get into it, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere. That's why on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Bets, we love you. You have a place here. We're back to blue over here. We support Leo all to the chagrin of many. Going to talk about it in a minute. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So here's the deal, guys. I realize this is the capitalist. It is unfreaking believable. I thought about Satu Dave when I opened this one. This is just now. Everything's going to have a hard use review on it. I will read stats, specs, all that. We need to move through these pretty quick. But I, as soon as I opened this, man, I thought, saw two Dave. Now, JR, dude, this is badass. Wow. This, this whole box, guys, is badass. But let me, let me say this, too, as, as, as I show you this. and Guys, my causes are my causes. I've approached it wrong. Not everybody's going to believe and what I believe in. I have a tendency to get very, very defensive. I don't want to do that. I believe what I believe. I believe we should raise awareness. Today, uh, the superintendent at work, Chad, said, Scott, why, why are you wear that metal band all the time? What is that? And he, Chad's a good guy. Got three kids, awesome guys. Man, it's 22 a day. And he said, what, what is that? And when I told him, just like when I tell everybody, it's like it sucks the life out of the room. And maybe that's why everybody don't know. It's not something we want to talk about. All I can do is bring it up. That's it. We're not a charity. We don't play on it. Don't try to. My wife's a vet. My son's a vet. My son just signed back up with Alabama National Guard. So veterans' causes are on my heart and on my mind. And anybody that's got a heart would understand that we need to get that word out. But the back of the blue, I have friends and family that are good people. I'm going to support them. I understand that some aren't. I understand that some have been dirted, dealt a dirty hand. But this is my channel, and I have to go with my heart. I also want to let you know that if you disagree with me, I understand. I'm not changing. I'm not asking you to. I'm not, not going to specify my causes. But I'm not going to be as confrontational or in your face because it doesn't do any good. I'm not going to change your mind. And you're certainly not changing mine. The purple handkerchief back there is for Eric, my best friend, one of them. And I don't have many left. Eric died. Uh, this July will be three years ago. Eric had addiction problems like I did. But I'm here and he's not. I'm going to support addicts. I'm not going to feel bad about it. I am one. And it's on my mind. It's on my heart. It's on my soul. That said, I love you guys. Everyone, thank you for choosing this video. Sometimes people get tired of hearing the intro. I, I can't help you there. You can fast forward through it. But I got to look myself in the mirror. And I'm always going to support my causes. And again, I'm not going to be as upset in your face about it. 
That being said, let's move forward. We got two badass knives there. Let's keep going. The dogs are barking at something. Oh yeah, I get asked a lot about these. Well, thanks to JR, he keeps me in the yellow pages. Y'all want to know where it comes from? It comes from my guy, JR. Brother, thank you so much. Somebody's probably walking their dog and I apologize that. But JR keeps me in phone books. So we got two badass knives. That, that Arbiter and that Capitalist, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's move on real quick. This thing, holy shit. This is the Hammer Down Forge. Kieran over at Hammer Down Forge built JR a custom chopper. This is a custom. It is not cheap. You can't get a good deal on it. JR in turn sent it to me to beat the hell up. That, that's why I'm so appreciative to JR and Brandon Thrasher and Keith Carpenter and, and Jacob Lamb and Donnie and all of you guys, Timbo and everybody who sent me stuff that understand when we sit lefty, when we, uh, Casey over at Knives Fast have all sent me knives. They know I'm not going to wreck the knife. That's not the goal. My goal is to show it working. And let me say this, why you guys just gander at that. Look at that Ford can't, man. I was going to wait till I get back from Blackie's, but honest to God, I may have to do a video on this. This is my jam. This is my wheelhouse. This is my speciality. If you aren't, aren't long with the channel, I built this channel on choppers. This thing, look at the handle on that thing. Black liners. I mean, it's gorgeous. I wanted to come in here. I just didn't feel like standing up. It's been a long day, a lot on my mind. So I thought we'd sit here on the throne and just go through some knives. That is dope. JR, thank you so much. And, and big shout out, big ups to JR, man, for, for, for believing in the channel. That RMJ that, that Donnie did a fantastic review on, that JR got that in, looked at it, and sent it straight to me. And I sent it straight to Donnie. JR hadn't even got to play with it. That's love. I wouldn't do that. But, but man, I appreciate you and thank you so much. And he'll be aggravated with me for mentioning it so much. But, dude, without my goal on this channel is not to be the QVC. I don't do this shit for free knives. I want you guys to understand that. Right? I don't ever want to. I, I don't give a damn. I, my agreement with JR is this. He sends to me. I review them. Knives that I would never have a chance to review. Because I can't afford this shit. And I work. I make good money. But I can't afford all that. And I send them back. I don't want to sell knives. I don't want to trade knives. I'm not looking to make a quick buck. I'm not looking to get a freebie. I'm looking for the content, and I'm looking to give you guys knives that you're not going to see on any other channel being used. You know how many comments I got, Scab? I don't know of another channel that used a Jack Wolf knife. Thank you, Brandon. Man, I appreciate you. And we're going to do that. Why? Because if you're going to spend the money, see it work. And I'm telling you that I don't do it for free knives. I'm nice because I want to be nice. I don't have to be a pretend tough guy on here. I got scars to prove that shit. And it does nothing. I want to enjoy the knife and I want you to watch and enjoy the knife. Look, I don't say prices because I, I if I said a couple prices, you'd be like, nope, turn it off. Guys, I enjoy, I, there's a lot of knives I can't afford. And I watch what Shebang, Shabazz, Complex, all them guys, uh, Advanced Knife Pro, who let me just say this about Advanced Knife, about Mark. Mark's one of my heroes in this game. Love that dude. Wore him out when I first started. But I, I, I'm going to watch knives that I might not can afford because I want to see them. And then I thought, you know what? Here's an opportunity to show them work. That's why I do it. That's why I like the carnivore I like. I don't do it for a free knife. You can shove a free knife up your ass. That being said... This is a bark or a white river S35 VN. Man, I love this style. And and the other thing about Jr. is he worries about the knives he sends. If I'm gonna like them, I love knives. That being said, I, there might be a knife I might not carry. That don't mean I'm not excited about it because now I've got to come up with something challenging that's going to show this. And I was going to say this too. And I, dude, I really do like that. Um, Guys, I'm going to cut way back on the narration. Um, we, I've got over 3,000 videos. And here's the truth. 
there are a lot of times where it's redundant and I don't ever want it to be to a point where it's like, man, I really want to watch that night, but I don't want to hear Scab say something for the 500th time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some different things. I'm going to say stuff at the beginning, let you know the knife left and just let's watch the knife work. Let's try a couple of those. Let's see how that goes. The, the, the videos like this where I've got my microphone on, I enjoy those. But what should be a 12 or 13 minute video then becomes a 30 or 40 minute video. But we're going to play with it. I'm going to cut back on the narration. I'm never giving up on my causes. I have no problems if somebody wants to fast forward through it. I understand it. But I think it's important. Now, moving on. This is the Bar Kruger. You can tell by the sheath. Magna Cut. Another uh, Nesmic. Guys, This is going to be hard to explain. There are knives that I love because of the challenge of using it. Now, this design screams at me. Would I carry this? Yeah. Yeah. But I carry a little bit of different stuff. And the, and the other thing, guys, is this. I, I've got the, I'm going to stop being as defensive, but I put my heart and soul into this. I can't speak for anybody else. I'm not trying to. I'm just saying I put my heart and my soul and my being into this channel. So I take things personally. I got to, and I'd love to tell you I'm going to stop. I'm not. It's who I am. If I change who I am, you're not going to watch. Because while, yeah, you might watch for the knives, you also watch for me and I'm humbled and I'm honored. And that's not arrogant. That's just facts. I'm not going to give you some fake facsimile of myself. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm emotional. I get fired up about knives. I sink my, and it matters to me. Don't worry about it, Scab. I get you don't. It's not your, and this ain't me. I put my heart and my soul, I worry about it. So we're going to do some changes. Let's keep moving. I'm going to get to this one last. Okay. This is dope. This this is a slip joint, a case double X. Now I may take I wasn't gonna take any of these to Blackie's, but I think I'm gonna take this one with me just so Blackie can see it. That's case made in America. Man, you gotta love this knife. You got to love this knife. And again, listen, what my point was gonna be, I'm a little out there today. Look at that. That's just dope, man. Is this a spay? Is that what they call that? Pete, Jersey knife guy. I know slippies are your thing. Is that a, tell me if that's a spay. I think it is. Maybe wrong. That's a clippy. That's just badass. I would carry that. And the more I get, the, the more I use them, more things like that. Yeah, I'll carry it. Love that. Classic sheath. Bo Duke style. Gotta love it. Um, shit. I had a point on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, moving on. Let's just keep going. I felt like we'll go back through them just so I make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, great box of knives. I am fired up about this. This is a ProTech. I think it's the George. They're ProTech. Look at that. Look at that blade shape, man. Is this M390? No, this is S35VN. Look at that. Dude, that's dope. That's badass. I can't wait. I can't. I love ProTech. I got a ProTech Don right there. Look at that blade shape, though. Man, that's just. I love that. Really good looking knife. Really good looking knife. Let's see here. I want to make sure I covered everything. So we did the Case Double X. We did the ProTech. I'm putting them back in the box. I showed you all the phone books we went through. I showed you the hammer down forge. That thing is amazing. I'm going to finish up. Okay. The White River I showed you. I'm going to show you all this one again. This is just, I, I am in love with that. That slicey big blade, that big handle. Look at that. I mean, that's just first rate. First rate. 
That's crazy. That's a good looking, good looking blade. All right, so here's the deal, guys. I wanted to bring this one up last. JR was good enough. Wait, here might be one. No, the Arbiter. This one, I'm gonna show y'all this one again because I'm just, I'm doing a short with this as soon as this is over. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is first class sun. Here's the sheath, a good look at the sheath. Now, I'm not sure about that carrying system there. Um, I'll try it out. I have that on another sheath. Um, not 100%, but I love, it's almost like a carbon fiber look. I'll give you a look at that. Man, that's awesome. Listen, we're right around the corner from 50K. Right around the corner. So, of course, JR included a Ritter fixed blade. Now, I get this confused. I should have looked it up. It's one of my favorite little fixed blades. This is in S45VN. It is the, Rusty put this in there, what this is. It's the MRK RSK3, I think. I probably said that wrong. It's G10 handles. Just absolutely one of the most usable, workable knives. I bought one of these and gave it away. Um, for the for the knife rights thing, this thing is just badass. It's badass. Fifty thousand, I'm gonna give it away. Now, guys. That being said, I have one more I want to show you. Big shout out to to Jacob Lamb. He sent me. He bought me a BK9, dude. Thank you so much. I'm so excited about that blade. Here is my plan, um, guys, for this for this week. I've got to finish up Brandon, the knives Brandon Thrasher sent. Thank you, Brandon, man. I'm going to get them done. I've had them too long. But the Jack Wolf, I've got a custom. I've got a couple I've got to do. Super excited. They will be done this weekend. Lefty sent me his personal knife to review. I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm going to do one of these big choppers. I need to do that. I need to get some aggression out. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do the Sneaky Pete uh, that Keith Carpenter sent. Any knives that I have here and Casey from Knives Fast sent me a microburst. I'm going to do that. Any knives that have been sent to me to review outside of these two boxes, I am going to, re to review when I get back from Blackie's. I'm going to squeeze a lot of content into these few days. We're growing, we're blowing, and then there's going to be a little gap. Um, I'm just going to go and have a good time. Also, this got sent to me, and I, I really need to do a review of it. Um, this is an amazing piece. I showed it on the live. This was sent to me by Shawnee over at Shade Indonesia. This is not a car carnivore deal. This is from Shade. This is a Mac V Bowie. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to review it. It's then going to go to Pistol Pete and then probably Joe, um, and then to DJ Horn to reprofile because we're going to do some hard work. Look at that. This is a shout out. Now on one side it says Shade Indonesia, Mac V. Bowie, Slepner 2023. Stacked leather handles. Look at the filigree there. I, I about had a stroke when he said, "We're going." I want you. And, and Shaney said, hey man, bro, please do a hard use review. I need one. No problem. Look at that. There's only been a few knives that I've been like, I'm not reviewing it. And let me just say this to you. Had he not asked me to, and it's not that I don't want to. This thing's got heft. It fills the hand. It's going to be amazing. It has that shade Indonesia edge that's sick. But damn, if that ain't a gorgeous blade. Whew. Love it. Listen, we talked about a lot. We covered a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for everybody for, for just being you. Thank you for choosing this video. Listen, I have a Patreon. I have a members from YouTube. We show exclusive content. It's not better content. It's just different. It's behind the scenes stuff. If you would like to help with that, there's a link in the description. Here's the thing, guys. The money from that goes to shipping, it goes to equipment, 
it goes to the channel and putting the channel together better to give you a better experience. Please understand, I work a full-time job about 50 to 60 hours a week. Summer's coming, it's going to be 60, five, six days a week, and do seven days a week posting. Megatron has an amazing job because she's worked her ass off. So whether you do or whether you don't, we're fine. The channel goes on. It's just a way to help. If you'd like to do that, great. Nobody owes me jack shit, but it's very, very, very appreciative. That being said, man, I love y'all. God bless y'all. We got some shit coming up. I love y'all. I'm Scab. You're not. Thank you. I'm gone, son. I don't know why I'm waiting. I'm just going to turn it off.